solutions and prepare to take action in Pine Bluff after nine people were shot in just a matter of four days last week. A former gangster turned pastor from Louisiana steps in to help them. You may remember Reverend Charles Banks. He did the same thing in Stuttgart just a few months ago. KRK Force Price McKeon joins us live in the studio after being the only reporter invited to that meeting. And Price Reverend Banks has a personal connection to these shootings. He does, but first let's break down, Ashley, that info from Pine Bluff Police about those nine shooting victims in less than a week. Okay, on May 5th, four people were shot. On May 6th, two were shot. The next day, one person shot, and then the next, two more people were shot. Now, Reverend Charles Banks confirms that one of those victims on May 8th right there, well, that, he says, was his 21-year-old nephew. Everything is talkable. Just about talking out this, this situation. This gangster turned pastor lives in Louisiana, but stands in the streets of Pine Bluff Tuesday. It has to be a solution here of, of dropping the guns. Reverend Charles Banks preaches peace in the community where his kids live and where his nephew was one of nine people shot in just four days last week. So we're talking from the neck down, he can't move. Right, not at this time. He talks with us outside after he stepped inside Tommy Breamsey's church down the road. Pastors are in the authority here in Pine Bluff. It's not just the police. Uh, we got God-given authority. Our authority comes from him. The pastors start the search for solutions to stop the shootings. Sticking the flag in the sand say, this is what we're coming to. We're going to claim our, our town back. A city councilman joins the conversation. You just can't ride through a neighborhood in broad daylight on a Sunday and nobody sees you. Nobody knows who's, who's shooting. I mean, come on now. He asked the community to help too. Don't just pull the shade back and pull the shade down and block it all up. As this team works to form a chain of churches to change crime in their city, this former gangster calls on everyone to help them do just that. I encourage every gang member. I encourage every OG. I encourage every leader. Let's make a difference here in the city of Pine Bluff. Those pastors told me now they'll start organizing community events and starting that chain of churches. Police say that one out of those nine shooting victims died. As for Banks' nephew, he remains in the hospital tonight. Back to you, Ashley. Price, thanks very much.